Eight laps going to be the distance. I'm just going to throw them all out there at once. Why not? Again, be sure to go down and visit the Pit Stop Grill, get your hamburger, cheeseburger, or hot dog. Hamburgers are four bucks. Cheeseburgers are going to be four fifty. Hot dogs, two dollars. Nachos, going to be three bucks. Or get you a Frito pie. I believe they've also got some uh, cookies down there, or pulled pork, whatever you like. We're going to try it this year. All right, heat race number one of your David and Sons USRA B Modifieds making their way onto the track now. Starting on the pole is going to be the number 52 of Mitch Keeter. Mitch coming all the way from Webb City, Missouri on his outside. The 7L of Trevor Drake coming from Brighton, Missouri. Inside row number two is going to be Daniel Landers, the number five coming from Joplin, about the same area there. Case and Harrison, the double zero coming from Bella Vista, Arkansas. Going to start in that fourth spot. Mr. Kelly Chick Kicks, the number 32, starting coming out of Pea Ridge, Arkansas, starting in that five spot. Kyle Long out of Walnut Grove, Missouri, in the 0 2. Going to start in six. Row number four is going to be Dan Cobble, the number 45 machine on his outside. John Sheets in that 8S machine, and starting in the rear, the one machine of Chet Buckley. Chet coming all the way from Republic, Missouri. Again, eight laps of distance here in heat race number one. JM Pallet Company bringing you all your hot laps in heat races. Southwest Missouri's leader in pallets, proudly putting customers and quality first since 2001. All racers will transfer for, to the feature there. Again, we are being broadcasted live on Show Me Dirt. My man Tombo runs that thing called Show Me Dirt, promoting everything dirt. And he does it at a really high level. You can find him on YouTube, Facebook, or X. Oh, we appreciate him being here all year for us. I think he makes us a whole lot better. Ladies and gentlemen, wheel to wheel, door to door. Here they come through three and four. Let's get it on. Looking for that Ozark Fiber Restart Zone green flag being brought to you by Freedom Vic. We shoot them off into one and two. 52 of Mitch Keeter, your leader, shot out of a cannon going down the back stretch there. Pretty good lead already so far. Mitch Keeter in the 52 machine going to lead lap number one. Daniel Anders in the five is going to be in that second spot. There's going to be Trevor Drake in the 7L. So Keeter, Anders, and Drake, one, two, three. A lot of movement there for that fourth spot. Case and Harris falls back to fifth. Dean Colt getting around him. Mitch Keener with a fast, fast 18.531. Much faster than they were showing in hot laps there as the track starts to get worked in just a little bit. Anders in that second spot. Franklin working that same line as Anders there for that second spot. Dan Culp in the 45, still sitting in fourth. Case and Harris got a fight on his hands. John Sheets in the 8S gets around. Gets around him, he'll take over that top five position. Harris will fall back to six. Caution coming out here. So not able to get through our first Davis and Sons USRA B modified heat race without seeing the Joplin lock and key caution here. I believe it's gonna be for Debris on the front row. Mitch Keeter, your current leader here. Three laps of the books. Daniel Anders in that second spot. Trevor Drake in third. Anders looking to go to the bottom side. That'll put Drake up top. Dan Culp inside a row number three. John Sheets at his outside. Harrison Hicks, one and two in points. Inside, outside, row number four. Kai Long and Chet Buckley in the rear there in the 02 and the 1 machine. Mitch Keeter ready to get this thing started again. Three laps in the books, five to go. Looking for that Ozark Fiber restart zone green flag. Here we go. Really 
Really piling up in the back there. Mitch Keeter out front. Danny Landers broke away from Franklin. Franklin going to take a look to the inside. Folds up a little sheet metal. Going to be side by side through three and four. Top five. Going to be a battle. Mitch Keeter out front of this thing by half a second. Loves to see those guys battling out right behind him. Daniel Anders still in that second spot. Franklin looking to pounce here as they're side by side, nose to nose, coming off of turn number four. Advantage still to Anders here on lap number five. Franklin gets around him in one, though. Franklin, your new second place spot. Sheets going to make a move here, going down the back stretch. Colt looking to get to the inside as well. Not able to make the move. Keeter, Franklin, Sheets. Your new top three here, your David the Suns, gonna start being modified. He rates number one. Gonna be a white flag next time by Franklin trying to reel on that 52 machine of Keeter. Keeter much, much faster on his flat times. Running at 18.323 this time by his fastest. Continues to keep getting faster lap by lap in that 52 machine. One and a half seconds the distance between Trevor Drake in that second spot and Mitch Keeter out front. Checkered flag coming out for the man, 52. Mitch Keeter taking home the win by one and a half seconds of the 7L of Trevor Drake. Drake finishing that second spot. Sheets in third. Daniel Anders, Dan Cole rounding out your top five for everybody watching at home. Be sure to share on our Facebook. We want to get as many eyes on this race as we can. Show Me Dirt doing an excellent job of production here. Again, for those in the stands here, 52 of Mitch Keeter taking home the win there. And your David and the Suns USRA being modified heat race number one. Trevor Drake finishing that second spot. John Sheets third. Daniel Landers and Dan Cole Browning out of your top five. Case and Harris just outside your top five there. Is finishing sixth in that double zero machine. Kyle Long, Kelly Chick Hicks, and Chet Buckley rounding out your field. Bomber's going to be your next race out here. Again, Bomber's running for 500 to win tonight. So there's going to be some competition. It's going to look quite a bit like an enduro. Two heat races. Starting on the pole of heat race number one, Daniel Bishop in the 13J coming from Republic, Missouri. On his outside, Darren Moyers. Again, a winner of many, many Enduro race this year at Mountain Motor Speedway, but this is a bomber race. 63 of Darren Moyers in that second spot. Brandon Bishop in the 3J, going to start inside a row at number two. On his outside is going to be James DeWitt, your points champion for the year, in that 930 machine, able to get everything put back together after wrecking here a couple weeks ago. Jack Hamer in the 14H out of Ava, Missouri. Going to start inside row number three on his outside. Zachary Riddick in the number 29 pro. Stack it up, stack it up. Zachary Riddick coming out of Aurora, Missouri. Row number four is going to be James Williams in the number 40. On his outside, due to start on the outside, Robert Dalton in the 24B. Not able to make it out there. Lights are up. Danielle Bishop looking for that Ozark Fiber restart zone. Green flag, here we go. Number 63 and Darren Moyers out to a quick lead there. Heading off into turn number one already. Going to be James DeWitt and Zachary Riddick battling for that second spot. Coming around for lap number one is going to be number 63. And Darren Moore is out front, number 29 of Zachary Riddick. Side-by-side -side battle for James DeWitt and Brandon Bishop. That's the, for that third spot. DeWitt on the outside on the 930 inside is Brandon Bishop in the yellow machine. Bishop must have hit that NOS button because he took off there down the back stretch. DeWitt's going to take another look to him as he pulls up down the front stretch. Darren Moyer still out front, but watch out. Zachary Riddick looking on that outside. Whoa! 
get a little bit in the marbles there in the slick stuff in the number 29 machine. Zachary Riddick slips up just a little bit, loses quite a bit of ground for it. Moyers in the 63, 29. Zachary Riddick, one and two. 3J, a Brandon Bishop in that third spot. James DeWitt trying to fight off Jack Hamer. Hamer's on that inside. Good battle there for that fourth spot. Hamer looking to make the pass on the inside. Number 40 pushing him along. And the Thunderbird gets a little loose coming off of turn number four. We are just about going to be three wide. Good battle again for that fourth spot. Hamer in the fourth. Williams and DeWitt fighting for fifth now. DeWitt falls back another spot to the sixth position. Moyer checking over his left shoulder there. He sees DeWitt is coming. Riddick, rather. Darren Moyer's out front. Zachary Riddick in that second spot. Brandon Bishop another two seconds back. Going to be two to go this time by white flag next time. Zachary Riddick waiting for that moment to pounce. Moyer out front. Zachary Riddick running that high line. Going to try to find some grip up there. Dabs are back down to the bottom. White flag out this time by. Moyer's in the lead by point two nine seconds. Zachary Riddick on the bottom side. Going to have lap car of Danielle Bishop for a pick here. Side by side to come off of four. Darren Moyers going to take the win there. Zachary Riddick finishing second. Brandon Bishop narrowing the gap there on that last lap. James Williams gets around Jack Hammer. He'll finish third, or fourth rather, in that 40 machine. Jack Hamer finishing fifth, and James Witt in sixth. Again, Darren Moyers in the 63 machine, taking the win there. Zachary Riddick finishing second, and Brandon Bishop rounding out your top three. Yeah, give it up for the 29, finishing second. Heat race number two getting ready to make their way onto the track next. All right, starting on the pole is going to be the number nine of Larry Jordan. On Larry's outside, the number 14 Mustang of Jackson Earl. Evan Clark in the 82X machine going to start inside run number two on his outside. Will Tatershaw in the 81 at WT. Inside row number three is going to be Sean Seward in the 85. Birthday. Happy birthday, Christopher Johnson. Sean Seward going to be in that fifth spot inside row number three. Again, happy birthday to Christopher Johnson. Ty Joyce in the 14J. Out of Buffalo, Kansas, and Daryl Riddick in the back there. And the 1776 Daryl Riddick going to try to give away some pictures. And last week's trophy had intermission, I believe. If we have the time, he's going to give away last week's trophy there. So Larry Jordan, Jackson Erdl, row number one. Evan Clark, Will Tatershaw, row number two. Sean Seward and Ty Joyce, row number three. And Daryl Riddick in the rear, last week's winner. Big thank you to Thomas Toe and helping us out this year with 24-7 service at competitive rates. When your car breaks down, there's a company you need to arrive quickly and provide the record service that you need. Be sure to give Thomas Towing a call at 417-235-3323.
Big thank you to Grand Tire, located at Highway 37 in Pier City, Jefferson Avenue in Aurora, Old Highway 37 in Cassville, and 20th Street in Joplin. They offer a complete selection of car and truck tires and have thousands of in stock thousands of tires in stock from the industry's top manufacturers. Find your nearest location and give them a call today. Also got Quick Draw Gun located right down the road here at 601 South Kyler. They're your full service gun shop, but they also do custom laser engraving on tumblers, firearm parts, and other items that you would like to have engraved. They're open 9 to 5.30 Monday through Friday and 9 to 3 on Saturday. Give them a call at 354-8633 or visit their Facebook page if you have any questions. Big thank you to Wesco Home Furnishings. Open 10 to 6, Monday through Friday and Saturday 9 to 5, located at 819 East Highway 60 here in Monette. Come and visit me or visit my fantastic help, Ms. Shonda, or longtime manager from Castle Location, Mr. Mark Wittermeyer. We'll be happy to get you all set up. As we're about ready to get things started here. Green flag as we enter that Ozark Fiber restart zone. Heat race number two of your bombers for 500 to win. Underway here, Jackson Ertle on that 14 machine. Out front, Will Tater Shaw on that second spot in the 14 J of Ty Joyce. Couple 14 Mustangs in your top three there. Ty Joyce coming all the way from that seventh spot already up to third. Jackson Ertle out front of this thing by almost a second over Will Tater Shaw. Tater Shaw in that second spot. Ty Joyce in third. Tracking down Tater Shaw as they make their way down the backstretch there. Evan Clark in the 82X machine in fourth. 1776 in nine of Larry Jordan fighting for that fifth spot. Sean Seward in the rear there. Ty Joyce getting around Tater Shaw for that second spot. Try to reel in Jackson Ertle out front there. Forwards dominating your top four there. And then back to the Cadillac of Daryl Rick in that 1776. There he comes in a frame there. Two Chevys in the rear. You love to see it, unless you don't. You either love it or you hate it, or you think it's okay. Out front, going to be Mustang versus Mustang Crimes. Jack Snurdle, your leader. Ty Joyce in that second spot. Right on the back bumper of Ertle now. Two second. The distance between second and third is going to be face to face, nose to nose, just about. Jackson Ertl still your leader as he comes off a of turn two. Ty Joyce in that second spot. Joyce going to take a look at that outside. Not as good of run. Jackson Ertl really putting it on now as the top two break away. Four seconds the distance between your front and battle and third. Ty Joyce with some good, respectful racing. They're side by side as I say that. They almost make contact. White flag coming out there. Jackson Erdl, your leader. Ty Joyce in that second spot. Doesn't lose much. Erdl, Joyce, Tatershaw, your top three. Evan Clark and Daryl Riddick, your top five. Sean Seward and Larry Jordan come off a four battle side by side, but it's going to be Jackson Erdl taking home your Wesco Home Furnishings checkered flag. Ty Joyce in the 14J coming in second. Will Tater Shaw rounding out your top three. Evan Clark starting to close the gap there just a little bit. Ty Clark in the 82X going to finish fourth. Dale Riddick rounding out your top five. Sean Seward able to get around Larry Jordan. Jordan will finish seventh. Seward in fifth. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, for the winner there, the 14 machine of Jackson Ertle. Ty Joyce in that second spot. Will Tatershaw rounding out your top three. All right, legends getting ready to make their way onto the track next year. All right. 
get the water truck off the top there, and we'll let the legends come out. All right, I thought the legends were going to be coming out a lot faster than that. I guess we're not. Again, Joplin Lock and Key bring you all your caution flags. Don't ask me why I bring that up right now. Freedom Bank, your green flags there. Ozark Fiber, your restart zones. All right, Case and Harrison, the double zero, going to start on the pole here at, for your INX Legends Heat Race number one. Coming out of Bellavis, Arkansas on his outside, going to be Shane Lackey out of Dadeville, Missouri in the 22V. Zernvest in the 33Z. Starting inside row number two. Kenny Foster on his outside. Dave Smith in the number 38. Going to start from that five spot. And Peyton Powell starting on his outside. Case and Harris, Shane Lackey, row number one. Zern Vest, Kenny Foster, row number two. Dave Smith and Peyton Powell, row number three. Again, big happy birthday to Christopher Johnson, turning 14 today. Give these guys a one more time around. If you're looking for a job, IDF is hiring starting at a starting rate of twenty-one forty-six an hour. Go to IDF.com to apply. Get an IDF just right across the street here hiring. 2146 to start. Case and Harrison, Shane Lack, you ready to get this thing started here? Smoke Metcalf been running that double zero all year. Doing a good job for his rookie year. Smoke Metcalf taking a break tonight. Case and Harris back in the old double zero. Out front here, starting on the pole. Shoots things off into one and two with a pretty good lead here. Gets up in that wet stuff and falls back pretty quick. Number 33 of Zern Vess. Going to be your leader here on lap number one. Zern Vest out front and by half a second. Watch out, Case and Harris. Gets up. Maybe problems on that Devil Zero machine. He stopped in turn one and two. And that will bring out your Joplin lock and key caution here. So caution coming out here on lap number one. Zern Vess, your current leader. Kenny Foster in that second spot. Case and Harris was running third. Right now it's a 41 of Peyton Powell in that third position. Kenny Foster looking to go to that bottom side. That'll put the 41 of Peyton Powell on his outside. Dave Smith and Shane Lackey, row number three there. Case and Harris in the rear. So we'll get them racked and stack and get them started again here. One down, seven to go in your Onyx Legends heat race, number one. 
Zern Vest the second out front Z2. Green flag, here we go. Freedom Bank of South Southern Missouri bringing you that green flag there. Kenny Foster in that second spot. Dave Smith already up to third. Trying to try not to get out of the groove. Boy, you get out of that groove and you are going to be losing traction fast. Kenny Foster out front. Zern Vest in that second spot. Peyton Powell, good run off of two. Looking at the outside, a number 33 machine taking over that second spot. Zern Vest not going anywhere as they make a little contact as he tries to get him out of that groove. Kenny Foster out front now by half a second. Six tenths of a second to be exact. Over the 41 of Peyton Powell. Zern Vest in that third spot looking to go to the outside. That way you're going to see a caution. There's Shane Lackey spinning there in turn three. He'll get her back going. That will be the smoke that you see coming out of turn four there. The dust, rather. Side-by-side -side battle. Casey here is getting around Dave Smith for that fourth spot. Kenny Foster out front there. Peyton Powell in that second spot. Zern Vest in third. Casey Harris and Dave Smith rounding out your top five. Going to be two to go this time. Buying your next Legends Heat Race number one. Peyton Powell with a good run off of two, side by side with Foster as they go down the back stretch. In a turn three and four, Foster with the advantage on that top side. Don't get too high. White flag coming out. Peyton Powell still in the lead here on your last lap. Kenny Foster all over the back bumper of the number 41 machine as they make their way through one and two. Foster taking a look to the inside. Peyton Powell powers out. Through three and four they go. Can Foster get around him on that top side? Not enough time, not enough track. 41 of Peyton Powell gonna take the win there. Peyton Powell, your winner there in your INX Legends. Heat race number one. Kenny Foster finishing in that second spot. Dave Smith coming up to third case and Harris fourth. Zern Vest falling back on that last lap there to fifth. Give it up for the 41 of Peyton Pyle, taking the win there on your last lap. Pyle, Foster, Smith, your top three, Harrison Vests. Rounding out your top five. INX Legends, heat race number two, getting ready to make their way onto the track now. Starting on the pole. In that V2 machine coming all the way from Aldridge, Missouri, it's going to be Ashley Vaughn. Going to be a family reunion out front there. V2 starting on the pole on the outside pole. Going to be the 2V of Ron Vaughn. Billy Smith coming from Rogers, Arkansas on the 76S. Going to start inside row number two. Trent Robinson, the number 27 on his outside out of Marionville, Missouri. And Jordan Myers on the shotgun for heat race number two of your INX legends here. Jordan piloting the 68 machine out of Battlefield, Missouri. So Ashley Vaughn and Ron Vaughn are row number one, ready to get heat race number two underway. Looking for that Ozark Fiber restart zone. Again, uh, being brought to you by j and Pallet Company, official hot laps and heat race sponsor. Trent Robinson out to the lead quick here. 76 S to Billy Smith going to be his competition for this one. Trent Robinson in that beautiful yellow and black. Number 27 coming around, turns three and four. Going to lead lap number one. Robinson out front by three tenths of a second, running a 21.075. Billy Smith right behind him, three tenths of a second behind him. 
as you see that start to grow already at three second distance between second and third there. Jordan Myers up in that third spot, Ashley Vaughn in fourth. Trent Robinson still at, Trent Robinson still out front of this thing by six tenths of a second, doubling his lead over Billy Smith in one lap. Continuing to get faster and faster, almost on the 20 second range. And there he does it there, 20.942. Fastest lap, Billy Smith also running his fastest lap, but it is a 21.215. Three tenths of a second slower than Trent Robinson. Robinson continuing to gain about three tenths of a second every lap there. That one, Billy Smith actually staying pretty close within a second there. Jordan Myers got Ashley Vaughn to contend with back here in that third spot. You see the distance about half a lap between first and second and third and fourth. Ashley Vaughn again looking to the inside there of Jordan Myers. Myers doing a good job of holding her off. And as we come back to the flag stand, we'll see we're taking two to go this time by. Sorry. Two to go, gonna be the white flag next time by. Trent Robinson, the number 27, taking the win there. Billy Smith in the 76S, finishing second. Jordan Myers, the number 68, finishing third. Ashley Vaughn just outside your top three there. Starting in the polls, going to be Blake Muhlenberg in the number 39 on his outside. Mike Hammond in the 276. Garrett Thompson in the 929. Inside row number two on his outside. The number 25 of Eli Muhlenberg. All right, my friends, we got driver Daryl Riddick giving out some signed pictures. Going to be for the kids there. Green flag ready to get this thing started here. Green flag being brought to you by Freedom Bank. 929 and Garrett Thompson on the outside. Watch out, we're already spinning there. He gets her started back up. We may stay green flag racing. Good thing we didn't have any photographers in the middle tonight. Garrett Thompson out front of this thing. Blake Muhlenberg on his inside. Looking to take that top spot away. Watch out. Going to be a three-way battle as Eli Muhlenberg introduces himself to the chat. Garrett Thompson still out front of the 929 there. Blake Muhlenberg, four tenths of a second back. Eli Muhlenberg, another seven tenths back. 
Garrett Thompson, the 929, running his fastest lap that last time by 19.484. Garrett Thompson, halfway through heat race number one. Your leader now. One second lead over the 39 of Blake Muhlenberg. Leader getting around a lap machine, the 276 of Michael Hammond. Top three getting around the lap car. There's going to be two to go here. And your Nap Auto Parts Power Eye Midwest Modified Heat Race. Number one, Garrett Thompson out front by one and a half seconds of the 39 of Blake Muhlenberg. Eli Muhlenberg in that third spot. Not a very close race at all here as Michael Hammond pulls off and takes her to the back. White flag coming out for your little 929 of Garrett Thompson. 1.564 the distance last time extends it out to an eight. 1.896. Blake Muhlenberg running as fast as that, that last time by 19.835. Coming to the checkered flag being brought to you by Garrett Thompson. Wasn't brought to you by Garrett Thompson. Garrett Thompson's taking it. It's the Wesco on furnishing his checkered flag. 929 Garrett Thompson taking home the win. Blake Muhlenberg in that second spot. Eli Muhlenberg finishing third. If I can get Christopher Johnson to come up, I've got a picture for you for the birthday boy here. Signed picture from Daryl Riddick in the 1776. All right. Is there any kids who didn't get a picture from Mr. Eraser Daryl Riddick there, the piloter of the 1776 Bomber, last week's winner? All right, Mr. Riddick. How many did you give out? Hey, big round of applause for Mr. Dale Riddick and piloting the 1776. That's what it's all about, the kids. We appreciate him doing that. All right. Let me figure out how many he gave away, and I can pick a random number with my Google doodad. All right, Dustin Isaac's going to be starting on the pole here. Tanner Foster, I believe, is going to be on his outside. Sean Coates on his outside. Thank you, sir. Tanner Foster going to be inside row number two. Lenny Coates in the 134, outside row number two. Brandon Sanders and Landon McLaughlin going to be on row number three. And John Hyricks, yeah, John H. And Dylan Bowman at row and number four. All right. What number did you get to, Mr. Darrell?
All right. Let me go up here to my phone and choose. Let Google choose. That way it's totally random. All right. Google. Number 11. I need number 11. There's no way it's the birthday boy that gets the trophy. <laughs> we'll give it up. What are the odds? Christopher Johnson on his 14th boy, 14th birthday. You get to take this home, my friend. Happy birthday to you. We'll get some photos. Again, big thank you to the pilot with the 1776, giving away some signed pictures. If anybody didn't get one, come see us during the intermission, or we'll get you a signed picture. As we get things, getting ready to start here. Your stock's also battling for 500 to win here. All right, Dustin Isaacs. In the 714, starting on the pole, Sean Coates on his outside, the number 34. Tanner Foster inside, row number two, Lenny Coates on his outside in the 134. Brandon Sanders and Landon McLaughlin starting the fifth and sixth. And the 15 eighths of John Hirenreichs in the 69 of Dylan Bowman rounding out the field here. Lights are out. We're going to get these guys underway here. Green flag here, Dustin Isaacs leading this thing going down the back stretch. Got a heck of a race between him and Tanner Foster. Foster looking to make it a four in a row here in your Power Eye Pure Socks. Isaacs running way high, trying to get some of that moisture. Who's going to lead lap number one? It's going to be credited to Tanner Foster in the 15 machine. Dustin Isaacs just two one hundredths of a second behind him there. Tanner Foster completing the pass as they make their way down the back stretch. Foster, Isaacs, Coates, one, two, and three. Landon McLaughlin just outside your top three there in that fourth spot. Brandon Sanders in fifth. Lenny Coates side by side with the 69 of Dylan Bowman. Fire on the 15 machine. That could bring out the caution here, and it will. All right, got the 15 pulled in the infield. Hopefully, he doesn't pull too close to that 15 or to the uh, that beautiful Toyota pickup. All right, Tanner Foster out front of this thing. Two laps in the books here. Dustin Isaacs in the 714. That'll. Elect and go on the bottom side. That'll put Sean Coates on his outside. Hey, I want to give a big, big happy birthday tomorrow to my man Earl. 
He does a lot here at the racetrack. We appreciate him very much. Big happy birthday to Earl. He is a fantastic friend and a good worker, and we appreciate everything he does for Monette Motor Speedway this year. So big thank you to Earl. There's the birthday boy right there, a young 30-year-old man. <laughs> uh, we appreciate everything he does here at Monette Motor Speedway. Tanner Foster, ready to get this thing going again here in your power eye. Pure stock, he ranks number one. Tanner Foster, your leader going out front there. Dustin Isaac, Sean Coates going to have a battle for a second. Isaac shakes off Coates. He wants a piece of that 15 out front. Foster floats her up high. He'll lead lap number three here. Running his fastest lap so far, 20.996. Dustin Isaac's also running his fastest lap not far behind. Coates got his hands full with the 17. Elena McLaughlin, they're going to be side by side. And Coates is going to spin there in turn number three and four. That'll bring up the second. Your second job. Joplin lock and key caution. You know, I'm no conspiracy theorist, but he is the owner operator of Joplin lock and key. I think he was trying to get more sponsorship on the screen is why he uh, did that spin. It's the most NASCAR thing I've seen lately. Caution coming out halfway through our power eye pure stock heat race number one. Tanner Foster is your leader, 714 of Dustin Isaacs in that second spot. Lana McLaughlin rounding out your top three. Dylan Bowman, Raymond Sanders, your top five. Lana Coates will fall back to sixth, and Sean Coates will be right there with him. I believe Lenny Coates pulling off the racetrack. Green flag, here we go. Tanner Foster, your leader. As the drivers hit that Ozark Fiber restart zone. Freedom Bank bringing you the green flag there. Dustin Isaac shutting the door on that 17 machine. Elena McLaughlin stopping all his progress as he tries to get around him on that high side. Dylan Bowman going to have a fight on his hands with that number 17 as they fight for third. I don't know what fight means, but he do, he's doing it. Elena McLaughlin able to get around that 69 machine. Dylan Bowman going... Back to fourth here. Still fighting from that inside spot. McLaughlin shuts the door on him. Isaac's in that second spot. Tanner Foster out front. Foster out front by eight tenths of a second over the 714 of Dustin Isaacs. McLaughlin going to try to reel those guys in. A white flag out for your leader. Tanner Foster out front. Dustin Isaacs, Lane McLaughlin, your top three. Bowman and Coates rounding out your top five. Brandon Sanders in the rear there. All right, coming off of turn number four, going to be your winner of your West Elm Furnishing Checkered Flag. Number 15, a Tanner Foster, Dustin Isaacs finishing. In that second spot, 1.8 seconds behind. Lana McLaughlin rounding out your top three. Again, for those in attendance, the 15 of Tanner Foster taking the win there, trying to make it four in a row. Dustin Isaacs finishing second, Lana McLaughlin third, and Dylan Bowman rounding out your top four. All right, time for the big dogs. Eight laps of distance here in your history, A modified. Starting on the pole is going to be the X machine of Danny Miller. Oh, starting on the pole out of Pierce City, Missouri, and on his outside going to be Tyler Barker in that 32 out of Springfield, Missouri. Inside row number two going to be the 712. You hear him there. It's Trevor Hughes coming all the way from Westville, Oklahoma. 
Troy Martin going to start on his outside. James Thompson inside to row number three on his outside. Keegan Kill. Thompson running the 11T. Keegan Kill running the 55. In the rear is going to be Terry Beckham, the second in the 718 machine. On his outside, coming from Rocky Comfort, Missouri, Joe Hatfield in the 11. Doesn't look like Troy Martin able to make it out. We're going to go green next time, bye. That'll move the 11T outside row number two. X machine to Danny Miller ready to get this thing started as they make their way off of four. Him and Trevor Hughes going to be in a fight right off the bat. Trevor Hughes looking to the inside of that X machine. Trevor Hughes out front here. Terry Beckham going to follow him on that bottom side. Coming off of turn number four, Trevor Hughes going to lead lap number one. Terry Beckham on his outside. Right behind him there. Tyler Barker in the 15, going to be in third. Danny Miller falls back to that fourth spot. The 11T of James Thompson in fifth. Caution's going to be coming out here. Caution being brought to you by Joplin Lock and Key. One laugh in the books here, seven to go. Trevor Hughes out front, Terry Beck on the second. Inside, a row number two on his outside, gonna be Tyler Barker in the 15. Green flag, here we go. As we're being brought to you by Ozark Fire Reset Zone and Freedom Bank. Trevor Hughes means business already out to a good lead. Hughes and Beckham way out front already. Caution flag once again. This time being brought to you by the 55 machine of Keegan Kill. Beckhamill can go to that top side. That'll put the 11 to his inside of James Thomas. Thompson. Number 11, Joe Hatfield going to the rear, going to the back rather. Green flag, here we go. Trevor Hughes in that 7 12. I think sounds like a banshee as it takes off. Side by side battle between Beckham and the 11 of James Thompson. Beckham gets around him, Thompson will fall back to that third spot. He's got a lot of damage on that right rear. The 55 machine.
That'll be two for the 55 of Keegan Kill. So we'll move them to the inside. We'll let the remaining five do battle here. Trevor Hughes out front of this thing. Two down, six to go. A lot of damage on that Levin machine of James Thompson. Hughes, Beckham, Thompson, your top three. Danny Miller and Tyler Barker rounding out your top five here. Again, two down, six to go in USRA modified. Heat number one. Green flag, here we go. Goodness, Trevor Hughes and Beckham blazing a trail here. Barely letting off just to get right back in it there. Trevor Hughes running at 18.109 last time by. Beckham not far behind him with an 18 2, 3, 4. Hughes continuing to get faster. Beckham falls off just a little bit. Nine tenths of a second the distance between Hughes and Beckham, a one and two. Danny Miller taking a look at the inside of Tyler Barker there. This could be for the four spot. Looking back here, leaders there going through three and four. Trevor Hughes out front in the 7-12-17 of Terry Beckham. You see him move up the track more and more. Beckham almost makes contact with the front stretch wall. Going to be the white flag next time by again. Big thank you to Jane M. Pout and Trunking Company sponsoring our hot laps and heat races. White flag out right now for the 7-12 of Trevor Hughes out front by a whole second over Terry Beckham. Running about identical lap times. In fact, Terry Beckham running just a little bit faster that last time by despite the flip of checkered flag out. And it's Trevor Hughes taking home the win there. Terry Beckham, the second coming in in that same spot. 11 T of James Thompson finishing third. Tyler Barker finishing fourth. And Danny Miller rounding out your top five. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the 712 of Trevor Hughes taking home the win there. He race number two, getting ready to make their way onto the track next. All right, starting on the pole for heat race number two, coming all the way from Gravette, Arkansas, is gonna be the number 47 of Scott Kelly. On Scott's outside, the double zero, The Undertaker. Could be Jesse Stovall out of Billings, Missouri, starting outside pole. Inside a row, number two is going to be Daniel Franklin, number seven out of Berryville, Arkansas. On his outside, Jason, Jason Civils in the 03. Jason come out of the way from Bolivar, Missouri. Jared Dotson in the 24 7, going to start inside row number three. On his outside, Nathan Hager. In the 55 H and starting in the rear, Greg Scheffler in the number 21. So Kelly Stovall, row number one, Franklin Civils, row number two, Jerry Dotson, and Nathan Hager, row number three. And Greg Scheffler in the rear there. Flagman Chip out of remotes gives the signal for green and next time by as we get that 15 machine of higher ranks pushed to the back there. Going to be looking for that Ozark fiber restart zone there between turn three and four. This will be the last heat race of the night, I believe. We'll go straight into intermission.
Elegant Stovall on that front row, ready to get things started here. We hit the green flag, brought to you by Freedom Bank. No skies hit the lap pedal. Jesse Stovall bouncing it off that front wall right off the bat. Watch out. Oh, Scott Kelly spins there right off the bat. Taking out the whole passenger side of Jared Dotson. We got a replay here being brought to you by Iowa Fire Equipment Company. See Stovall sparks off right off the bat there. Skelly just loses it. Jarrett Dotson, unfortunately, right there in harm's way. We get those body panels picked up from the 24-7 machine of Jerry Dotson. Kelly will pick back up to the rear of the field. Tough break for that 24-7 machine. Hopefully you can get them all torn off and be right back in the feature. Scott Kelly, your pole sitter, pulling to the inside. We'll get this line up right here. Jesse Stovall out front. Stovall will be on the pole. On his outside is going to be the seven of Daniel Franklin. The 03 of Jason Sybil is going to be inside row number two on his outside. Going to be the 55 of Nathan Hager. And starting in the rear, they're going to be the 21 of Greg Scheffler. Thank you, Tombo, for that zoom in. Again, if you're not already, if you're on Monet Motor Speedway's page, be sure to follow Show Me Dirt on everything. YouTube, become a subscriber. Follow him on Facebook. Follow him on TikTok. Already to get this thing started here. Double zero. Jesse Stovall shot out of a cannon already. With a four car lead right off that. Franklin left a fight with his 03 of Jason Civils for that second spot. Hager. We'll try it again. Franklin able to advance one position there. Here we go, Jesse Stovall hitting that Ozark Fiber restart zone. Green flag, here we go. Stovall already again, not even in the camera's vision. Just shot away from the rest of the field. Daniel Franklin up to that second spot, Nathan Hager. In third, Sybil moves back to fourth. Look at the distance already. 1.75, one last time by. This lap extending out to 2.919. 
Stovall running a 17.273, 1.2 seconds faster than Daniel Franklin's 18.441. Halfway through your sorry, eight modified heat race number two, Jesse Stovall, your leader, Daniel Franklin, in that second spot, Nathan Hager and third. Hager trying to catch Franklin here on that top side of four. Narrow on the gap by one tenth of a second. Good run off of two as he starts to catch Franklin. A little more and a little more through the laps. Running as fast as lap that last time by 18.572. White flag out for your leader, Jesse Stovall, on the double zero out front here. Whole half a track lead over the seven of Franklin. Stovall brings it off a three and four. Looking familiar. Jesse Stovall taking the Wesco home furnishings. Checkered flag out front. Meanwhile, through three and four. Daniel Franklin in the seven, going to take second. Nathan Hager third. Sybils rounding out your top four. And Scheffler rounding out the field. Well, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the double zero of Jesse Stovall taking home the win there in the US3 A modified heat race number two. Daniel Franklin coming in second there. Nathan Hager third. Jason Sills and Greg Scheffler rounding out the field. We're going to take a short intermission here and get back to feature racing shortly. <laughs> 